Hey, what's up guys? Rado here with Dirt and Iron. One of you asked me today how to edge as idle on two-stroke dirt bikes. He just bought a brand new 2018 YZ125, doesn't really hold the idle yet. So today in this video, I'm gonna show you how I edge as idle on my two-stroke dirt bikes. So stick around. What I always do in the beginning, I'll make sure that I have a little bit of play in my throttle. So uh, adjust it here and make sure that you are not pulling from the beginning, you need a little bit of play in the beginning and then you start, then you start pulling your, your cable. I don't recommend adjusting your throttle here. I don't think that's a good way to do it. That's not what I would do to my dirt bike. I will show you how I do it. So the most important thing to adjust your idle is your air screw. This is a two stroke. On the two stroke you have air screws. On the four stroke you have fuel screws. So they work the other way around. On the two stroke, since you have an air screw, the way it works, if you screw that thing in, you are allowing less air and more fuel. Hence, you are making your bike run a little bit richer. If you go with the screw out, you are allowing more air in, hence less fuel in, and you are making your bike run leaner. So if you, you need to play with that screw. That's the major thing I do when I set my idle. There is a guideline that if you are not able to find a sweet point where the bike is running really crisp and holds idle really well between half turn out and three turns out that means that uh, your bike is probably not jetted correctly and you need to move your pilot jet either smaller or bigger so if uh, if you are too far out let's say you are four turns out and the bike runs good that means that you lean it out too much and then it runs good that means that your pilot jet is too big you have to drop it one size and then you can keep your fuel, your air screw somewhere at maybe two turns out. And uh, if you have to be all the way in and the bike still runs and it's pretty crisp, that means that your pilot jet is too lean and you have to go one size bigger. So let's assume that your bike is jetting correctly. Let me show you what I would do to set my idle. Right here is your air screw. And this is your idle adjustment screw. But I wouldn't do it only with this uh, idle adjustment. I always set my air screw to a position where I have really sweet and crisp throttle response and then I just slightly adjust this screw right here. First of all, take the air screw all the way in and then try to go two turns out. Half, one, one and a half, two. So this would be my basic position where I start to adjusting everything else around. Make sure that your bike starts and has good throttle response and holds the idle. So it doesn't really idle yet. It doesn't idle, so I'll bring the edge a little bit more out. It has a good, it has a good throttle response. It follows, follows throttle immediately. It doesn't hold the idle, so I'm gonna bring this one a little bit higher. Does a hair. There you go. So my air screw is adjusted to the point where I like the throttle response. It holds the idle. It wouldn't die. And I just adjusted the. Uh, Idle screw adjustment a little bit, but we'll hold it. And you can also hear the bike is really healthy. It sounds really nice. If I bring the air screw all the way in, the bike will die. Because I will put more fuel and less air. I will make it more richer, so the RPM will go down. Check it out. going to die soon there you go I killed it with a fuel so you want to have it a little bit leaner and then your idol will not die I think it was like two and a half turns let's do it half one one and a half two two and a half please don't set your idle with a cable on the throttle some people will do that you know they will bring the uh, the slide a little bit higher it's like you have a little bit crank open your throttle and that's how they set the idle that's not correct you should be able to set your idle when the throttle is all the way closed 
and the slider is sitting on the bottom of the carburetor, you can fine tune it with this screw right here, bringing just a tiny hair up or down to have it responsive and also hold kind of low idle. So I'll show you, I'll show you how it works. This is a good idle for a two stroke. I can, I'm gonna bring up the slider. Half turn. That's one turn. I don't like it, I don't like to have it too high. Half out, one, one and a half, two. This is maybe too low, I think it's gonna die soon. Let me kill it. So this is, the, this is the point where you can play with your air screw and this is little screw that is bringing your, uh, your idle a little bit higher. Because you want to have that sweet throttle response when you go on the gas. You want to have no hesitation, you want to have no bugging, so you really want to have that sweet response. That's why I would play with these two screws. Don't go too far out with your air screw. If you have to go more than three, you know you need to reject. Or you, if the screw, screw is all the way in, and bike runs good, you need to rejet. When I say jetting, I'm talking about pilot jet, main jet and a needle. All these three things you can take out and replace with bigger or sm smaller size. For the idle, pilot jet is the most important. I have a whole video about this topic explaining how it works and how you can adjust it. I'll put link below in the description. So play somewhere between half turn and three turns out and then just kind of fine tune with your uh, idle adjustment screw right here. And you should be good to go. On YZ125, this right here is your air screw and this is your adjustment to your idle. So you need to lose this nut first and to get a Phillips screwdriver you can move this in and out. It's very fine thread so it's doing little adjustment to, to, your, to your slider. I wouldn't really bring it all the way up. Do just really small adjustment. Majority do with the air screw. I want to show you a throttle response and also want to show you that I have a little bit of play in the beginning. So when I move my throttle a little bit, RPM is not changing. And I'll show you how it responds to my throttle. So let's start it. Bye guys, and I still have a little bit of play here. I can move my throttle, RPM is not changing. And this is the throttle response. idle after I stop doing that to the revving. So this is how I set my idle on two stroke dirt bike. Alright guys, so hopefully this video will help you to set your idle on your two stroke dirt bikes whether you ride 250, 125 or 150 on 300, whatever you ride you always have that air screw on your carburetor so remember to keep a screwdriver in your backpack when you go riding because when the elevation is changing or the temperature is changing you still need to play with that screw it's not set and forget it it's something that you need to play pretty much all the time when these conditions are changing it's not difficult you can hear how the bike is running you can feel the throttle response just fine tune it so you have your bike running at its best all right guys that's about it for today and don't forget whatever you do stay motivated see you later